Oh, hey, Lockie. Hey, what's hey, going mate? on? Do you want to go shoot some hoops? Yeah, let's shoot. Okay, let's shoot. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lockie Neal, and this is Rob Vlogs. <laughs> that going? Let's go! That's the intro! <laughs> <laughs> so we're back here again, it's up and about uh, on the YouTube. I've got my good friend Lockie Neil over. Hey Lockie, how are you? Good, Mitch. Good. So we've done this before, I've done a podcast before, but it's a little bit different, short and sharp. Ask the fans in the community on YouTube and Twitter a few questions. You guys sent them through to me, so we're going to play a little bit of ball, maybe a little bit of comp at the end, and we'll go from there. But I'll start off the way I always do. Number 58 draft pick in 2011. 210 games. 210 games? About that. About that, yeah. yeah. 200, I think 209, but didn't count this week. Yeah, yeah. 2020 Brownlow Medalist, 2020 Lee Matthews Trophy, two times All Australian, two times Lion Best and Fairest, three times Ross Glenn Dinging, Dinging, Medal Dinging Medalist. So what is that again? Uh, best on in the Derby. Like, oh, so I got that wrong guys. last time, didn't I? I did the podcast. I think so. Yeah, I was like the yeah. best waffle player or some shit. <laughs> and we both shared one of these Marcus Ashcroft medal. Welcome, yeah. man, welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, I, I don't time. think I had one last time we did. We spoke. No, because only, like, only a couple of legends have those. Last time we spoke at the club. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like four, years one, four years ago. Did you get one when you first got up here? Uh, second, maybe. Second oh, no, 2020. When was your first no, year? No, maybe 20. No, I think I got it. Did you win a brand? 2020. You win your brother in your first year here? Second. Oh, yeah, so I was second year. Yeah. Um, how's dad life going, mate? I it's know you're a beautiful Piper. Yeah, little Piper. Um, yeah, it's going well. Yeah. She's. How old now? Almost 10 months. Yeah. Piper, 10 months old now. Yeah. Um, just started to crawl around, starting oh, to pull so, herself up. So early days, you think, oh, I can't wait to start crawling and doing all this kind of shit. Yeah. But then you actually got to pay attention to them now, don't you? Oh, she's like, even just we have like this wine rack. Um, near the lounge room and she's yeah. like almost pulled that over the other day like, alright we got to move that oh. we've got all the locks on the um, on all our cupboards now you've got to get like so. a little doggy gate you know those things oh, it's crazy or is that going too far you have dogs and cats eh have a dog have and a, a cat yeah and what's your favourite What's my favourite? Yeah. Uh, out of the dog and the cat. Yeah. Or the say, baby dog and cat. Nah, 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 nah. Because that's, I know what that is. Uh, nah, dog for sure. Dog for sure? Yeah. Why is that? Because Emma's got a cat. We have a cat and it's put me through nearly bankruptcy. Broken the cat his leg. Yeah, it's broken his leg, jumped off that balcony up there. No way. Yeah. And it's cost me like 20, I would say like eight something grand. As it? Just to get it going, yeah. And it's like, it's not even my cat. Like, I don't even care about it. Oh, well, our cats, I love our cat. Um, but Harley's sort of like, Coco's our cat and yeah. loves Jules. Okay. And Harley, have their... Harley the dog like loves me. So, yeah, so he, you he's my have... boy. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And like... But I love them both. Dog's but... a man's best friend too, so yeah, it kind of exactly. makes sense. Um, so run us through 2020 because a lot of the questions are around some obvious stuff. Yep. That's your, that's your best year, do you reckon, in your football career? Or that's just one of those years that everything clicked? Uh, yeah, I think it was the best I've played. Um, I feel like this year I've played some better footy though. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, it's all off the back of like a good pre-season. So because when I was it last year, you had the interrupted year. So one of the yeah. questions are one of the questions are from the from fans is how how was your experience coming back from? And I'll put it up on the bottom there for you guys to see. How was the expectations coming back from the brown low and then being like riddled with injuries that year? How'd you go with all that mentally? Yeah, I think like at the start you think oh, I've got this like. Are we fine? Um, had a pretty rough off season. Didn't train. We both had calves, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, we you got doing... two big calves, but we all had calves. <laughs> you, me, and Zorko. We were doing um, rehab together, but um, I think like once I overcome that, I was sort of like sweet, ready for round one yeah. play. Um, and then I think it was actually the preseason game against Gold Coast. I fractured my back. Oh, was that, that was out in the, that was, everyone knew about that, didn't they? Nah, well, no they, one knew about they, it too They knew after, it was really. sore or something, but they yeah. didn't know what it was. Um, Cause I remember like, we couldn't be like, oh yeah, he's fucking carrying something serious, but you didn't want to tell yeah. anyone. But well, it came I out later though, didn't it? I didn't know, like round one I actually felt all right. And then round two, it started to get real sore. Like real, real sore. Yeah. And then um, I had scans and I had to get. Did you get epi? I couldn't train. Did you have a job? No, I didn't have an epi. Oh. I was just getting. You can start, I can cut it out. I was getting injected every game. I was allowed back then though. Couldn't like, train. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's allowed. No, it was just like to numb. Oh, okay, to numb your back. Numb my back, yeah. So that's what it's like you go when you get surgery. And then, um, yeah, couldn't couldn't play. Yeah. Very How well. How many did you miss? Or did you play every game? <laughs> no, I played, but then once my back started to feel better, didn't have to have a jab. That yep. game, I did my ankle against Carlton. Oh, and then against the Mighty Blues. Had to have surgery on that. So how many games did you miss? 
Uh, that year I missed seven. Yeah. Um, so it would have been pretty tough, like going from Brownlow, like being the best thing going around. Then. Yeah, uh, I think this for me, thing's not working. It probably just like for me. Um, I don't want to hate no. on the media or anything too much. You but don't, mate. That's my job. I sort of like it made me realise how sort of fickle it is like the year before they talk about how good you are and then the next year you're irrelevant like it's even like us at the moment like we lose a couple of games and now yeah. we're the shittest team in the comp yeah exactly and it's so like, everyone was like on us ross lyon always used to say to me it's never as good as it seems and it's never as bad as it seems that's not a bad one and you know what i don't think i like ross lyon you don't because, like no, him because he had a crack at me when i called um lynch or wanker and then he was like oh he's the next akamanis like oh yeah and he also Aka. he also fake dabbed on me too Fake dab, dude. Remember you? the brown loan? We're drinking oh. downstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he's fucking, I went to shake his hand, he's like pulled it away. <laughs> I was like, Ross, that's uh, not good, man. That's gold. Um, you just signed a monster contract. Monster? Where did that come from? Like, you didn't tell me, and I didn't, I'm part of your management group, so I didn't get to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, three year extension, 2026. Yeah, 2026. Where did that come from? Uh, just putting everything to bed now, like, just tell them all, like, you know what, I'm signing up, put their rumors away. Yeah, I think we're sort of in the background been working on it for a little while after um, last year yeah. when we decided we wanted to stay in Brizzy and yeah. we feel like we're really settled here. So um, the club were keen to get something done as well and we thought, yeah. why not? Well, wouldn't they want to sign um, you? So yeah, that'll take me to... 2026. How old will you be then? 30, 33. 33? You'll be my age. I'll be 33 at the end of that year. So what are you 30 now? Or 29? 29. Yeah. Doesn't get any better after 29, man, trust me. Hey. Nah, what, what about Bokey? He looks all right at 30. He does, and so does um does Monday look good at the moment? I haven't been really watching. Yeah, he's he's still playing well. What's he 37 this year? 37? Is he? 36 no. or 37? What the fuck? Is he actually that old? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 33. How old's Bokey? 33? Your is he yeah. was he your draft or? No, nah, I reckon he's a couple years like before me. He was young, but I was like an older player, remember? I was oh, like 19, well, yeah. I got drafted. But yeah, 2021 was like tough. I think it probably feel like you're handling it okay, but then looking back, I was a bit like, kept to myself a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, probably didn't mentally cope that well, I suppose. Was that like you your be first time going through injuries and stuff? Pretty much. I had a couple early on, but... I'd played a lot of games in a row, and I sort of didn't really know how to handle it. So yeah, okay. it was a good lesson, but... Well, I guess I, if you ever come up at shit against again, like again, you'll be fucking ready to go. Um, but maybe I should get injured more often because we didn't lose a game. <laughs> oh, no, I do remember those articles. <laughs> Did you come back and we lost the game? Uh, we lost to Melbourne. Yeah, okay. oh, that's, fair, that's fair game, enough, yeah. Um, No one really talks about it because it's so early on in the season too. Um, Off-season plans. Yeah. Because I know you're a basketball enthusiast and the cameras can see you hitting every single shot. What are your offset? Do you have any of this, like, this year? Is there anything going on with that or not really? Uh, oh, you're going to wait. felt wait bad after, off my hands. Um, I've got six weddings this like, off what? season. Yeah. I don't have six friends. <laughs> are they all, all yours? They're or all my friends. Are they yours or not? Uh, no, a couple were Jules's. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we'll be able to make all six. Why is that? Um, but a couple... Well, a couple I, I, on the same weekend. Oh, okay, so that's fair enough. A couple, like, kind of just throwing it out there for you, but don't expect you to say yes? Uh, well, not really. Like, probably expected to go to a mall, so... Oh, shit. Um, Mate, that's, yeah. like, that's like wedding crushes, man. It's going to be... It'll be pretty full-on off-season with weddings. Uh, we're actually... Um, I'm not just saying this because you're from Tassie. Jules and I are keen to go to Tassie. Mate, did Eric tell you about his trip? Yeah. <laughs> Loved it. Well, we wanted to go before they went anyway, so... Oh, so they took your idea? Yeah. Oh, and he's hit the guy for No way. That was going in as well. That was too. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to ask this one because not really anyone has asked it. What is um, life after footy for Lockie? Like, I know you've got three years left on that contract. Four. Four. Yeah, well, after this year? Yeah, four. Oh, so you already had another year anyway? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. What's, what is, um, are you studying at the moment? Are you doing any, like, work experience anywhere? Yeah, so I'm doing my MBA. Um, which is Masters in Business. Oh, I thought you wanted to go play in the NBA. Uh, <laughs> in the M MBA? Oh, MBA. Men's Basketball Association. Change me. Um, so, I like, I've like probably the last three years taken yep. interest in business. Yeah. Um, but I love footy and like love sports. So, I've done, I'm qualified to be like an assistant coach 
Uh, oh, you got your two? Uh, What's that, that? Two, three, and it's called Next Coach. Oh, uh, yeah. David yeah. I need to select people get that, like, invited that, don't they? Uh, nah, that's like level four. Oh, okay. But you have to already be an assistant, that's I think. For, that's for head coaches, is it? Yeah. Um, so that's what Lockie's on the moment. You're interested in, you're interested in coaching, potentially? Yeah, potentially. Um, and business. business. Or I don't mind like list management side of things as yeah, well. Yeah, okay. So, me. so um, the old nobles type job, the GM or more list management as in like Dom Ambrosio? Like, yeah, Dom. Yeah. I, I can't like, get contracts to save myself. I kind of so. like building a list and like, it so seems yeah, it pretty cool. So. It's pretty tough though, that, yeah, that gig. Yeah. And it'd be, it'd be a tough gig, but I kind of like. Rewarding as well. And, and that's, I reckon like staying in footy, if I was going to do something, it'd be like, Admin type role, probably like marketing or something to like oh. get the sponsors in, get some money rolling through. You yeah, know? you'd be good at that. I reckon that'd be my forte. Were you, st- were you staying footy once you finished? Um, I'm doing management, player management. Oh, nice. So that's my thing. I, since when I got cut from the Blues, I was like, that's exactly what I want to do. Like just manage players. Yeah. Because I can kind of see the signs of when your players are going up and down, and yeah. I've been through all that shit, so I kind of understand what they go through. So I think that's something that I'd be really good at, are and just getting them deals because I like. Do you have to do a course for that? Yeah, um, is this A4PA? He's a set of three oh, day, yeah. three day um, course. He's got to pass a test into that, but it's pretty selective as well. Have you done it? No, you can't. I can't manage until you retire. Oh, so right. There's no point paying. So you can't like, do the course until. Well, no, nah, we well, can, but what's the point? Yeah. I can, I can, I can manage like A4W players now. You could. That's not conflict. Yeah. But if I manage like you. Yeah. And I play with you, I can wax it, <laughs> wax it more than I do a training, <laughs> and I can like. Just say, I know what he's Just making, like, and I'll <laughs> give Robbo like 10% of that. Imagine but, that. Imagine if you were the manager, like if I was would, managing Zorks, and I was like, actually, he, I want clauses in his 100, contract. 100k. Exactly. So or he needs take to, it off Zorks's. Or if I was managing like Hippie or Joe Danaher, and I, like he needs 40 goals for his like yeah, clause or bonuses, I'm taking that shit and I'll try, I don't get that many touches anyway, oh, but I'll try lucky. and feed him. All right, I'll get over to the fan questions now because. Yeah. That's what this is all about. It's all about the fans. This first we one is from fans. Amusement Productions. G'day, Lockie. How did you mentally get through that tough year? Okay, that's the one I'm already answered. Oh, yeah. How did I mentally get through it? Yeah, though? how did you mentally get through a tough year with injury last year, especially with having the external pressure of being the reigning Berlin medalist? Good luck for the rest of the season from Amusement Productions. Yeah, we sort of touched on it, but I didn't get through it that well. No. Um, so would you, if like hindsight, would you get a, like, you know how we have um, Alex Gorman at the club? Would you probably... I had through. one. Oh, you had one? I had a personal one, yeah. So, did it, um, did it help or not? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, it helped a lot, but just needed to accept what was going yeah, on and not try and like Control, we can things. control. Yeah. And so, not rush because you get back. Yeah. If you start wigging out all the time. Yeah, exactly. Makes it worse. All right, Daniel O'Brien. Question Seeing how good you played with amazing players of your career, is there a single player you would point to as the clear best or just one of the best? Well, you got some names in there. I got Robinson, Five, Pavlidge. Pavlich and Fife are two that come to mind Straight real, away. real quick. Are you a big Fife fan? Yeah, I love Do you like the Ford, Ford thing with him at the moment, playing Ford, or is that... Yeah, I, only because probably what I went through last year. Like, he has had no prep. Yeah. So for him to just come play full-time mid would be really hard. I'd blow him up. Um, so I think they're doing the right thing, like, build him into it. Yeah. And, and it's and adds another string to his bow. Like, I don't yeah. know what his goal kicking is like. He kicked three last week. Oh, well, there you fucking go. Um, Under so, pressure, too, against the Saints. Yeah, I reckon... He would come and play more midfield the back end of the year, but... Well, he would, like, thrust himself in there when he, when he feels like he got a bit of spurt to go, surely. Yeah. So Fifey, radio. Pav, Pav's, like, he was just so good when I was younger. He's, he's only got one three All-Australians in three Every different spot. spots. Yeah. yeah. That's fuck. Crazy. If he played at, like, Collingwood or something for his whole career... He'd be he'd the be, biggest name in the world. Oh, well, he's all, already a Hall of Fame, so... Yeah, but would he be more popular than he is? I feel like West Probably. Australians, like, will love him, yeah. no matter what, for being from WA. So I, th- I reckon if he was, like, Victorian... Yeah, no, I, I love Pav. Um, and Freer probably great played, bloke. like, different times as well. I reckon Zorks is a freak as well. He's he's most underrated player, I think, in those conversations. Yeah, he's... he's but he, he played so well in our shit years as well. Like, yeah, it's hard to... Like, you can have, like, you can rack up disposals, but he's having, like, 30s and 4s in, like, 100-point losses. Yeah, like, yeah. And Kick then he's... <laughs> exactly. Crazy. And he still does that when we're winning, like... Yeah. It's no, ridiculous. He's, he's a freak. Some of the stuff he does. What about Sun Sun or Charlie Cameron? Who do you... Who, if at their prime, who would you, who would you have? Charlie they're, or Sonny? They're, like, completely different. Um, well, they both play small forwards, both Indigenous players. There's not much, really... 
One's quick as shit though. Yeah, Char Charlie's is and like whereas Sonny's like footy smarts are probably yeah okay. Or Charlie's well, good no, but Chucky's like well, late. He came to the game late, so that's why yeah. he probably doesn't have that instinct. Sonny's crafty, like yeah yeah. He'll he'll like slide. Yeah. In there. he's a slippery player. Yeah, slippery. Where Charlie's like kind of like he's got that little just muscle. Beast. <laughs> yeah, rule like hard works. to say. Sonny was a he's a well he still is a gun, but when Frio were going well, he was a star. Yeah, it'd be hard to stop him in the grannies and stuff. Yeah, he's flying through. Um, so you'd probably say five, five pav for pav. like, yeah, okay, yeah. one of those two, yeah. that's fair enough. Zorks up there as well. Question for both, uh, how have you found the moves from traditional states, WA and Victoria, to a rugby league state? Is it more laid back, easy going, given or somewhat higher media population focus at NRL? That's from Alistair. It's a good question. I reckon when, and you might be the same, when we first came, when I first came, like Brizzy finished 16th or whatever they did in oh, 2018. Um, and like walking around cafes, even around no my place, you? like not all. I don't maybe know if they maybe a couple people just would like a couple Victorians really on holidays or, or some shit. No one said anything to you anyway. Nah. But now I feel like it's a lot more um, noticeable. Like footy's more relevant, but because we're playing better footy, people actually care. And, oh, 100 percent. And they actually want to like talk to you and tell their mates, oh yeah, I just saw Lockie down the cafe. Yeah, it's, I feel like it's grown so much, even just in the three years that. I've been here, so... And I guess in, in that time as well, when we started making finals and stuff, the NRL wasn't going good. Like, yeah. the Broncos weren't doing great. The Reds might have been going okay, but, like, I don't, I don't see much union at all up here. Nah, Just, I don't see any... Uh, I don't see any, like, Queensland Reds. Nah. Is that the, that's the that's union the thing, yeah. team? I've been to, like, one game, I reckon, of union, and I just didn't like it at all. It was just slow as hell. I know nothing about rugby either. Nah, like, leagues, leagues not too bad. Are you so leagues. you're going for no one tonight, right? Yeah, no. In I the don't, origin? I don't. You just oh, want good... I'm going for Queensland just because I live here now. You but... want a good game though. Um, this is from L S J James Joson. Neil, what was your best game you think you ever played? Best game I ever played. Ever played. My game against Essendon this year. Oh first round time. two? Not, not last week. Round two. <laughs> round two. I got suspended, so round two. Yeah, round two. Uh we up encounter. there. So what was that? 40? 40 and 2. Should have been, been 40 and 3. More just the way I use the ball and stuff as well. It felt like a complete game. Yeah. Um, and because we we're getting flogged in the first like quarter and a bit. Yeah. Made it more special. I, I feel guess, like so. one of my better games as well was against Sydney earlier this year. Yep. At, Where was the that? Oh, at the SCG. That was a good game. Um, what about Freo? Well, one of the derbies I had. One of the three medals you got. Yeah, 42 and 3. That That's was nice a good game. day. That's but then the next week, we played Sydney. And um, this was when oh, Ross said something else to me after the Sydney game. And I had nine possessions the next week. So that's when him. he was like, mate, it's not as good, always as good as it seems. Nah, that's not what he said for that one. He was, well, he was like, he what said the fuck a week, was that? He was like, a week's a long time in footy, isn't it, That's kid? the title of my last video. Is it? The week is a long time in footy. This is from... I can't pronounce it. Magalamandan. <laughs> Do you have some advice for young athletes on how to become a better midfielder? It's funny you should ask that, mate. Um, he's actually got a setup going with ball magnets. Oh, yeah, we got ball magnets. So download that and you'll get some great tips from not only me, but from the best some ball guns, in the Crippers on there, Tommy Mitchell, and then I think like heaps of other players feature on there. So what would you download ball there? magnets. But I'll put the, I'll put for a midfielder, I think, I think as a young mid, if you put yourself in the best sort of position to get to as many contests as possible. So fitness? Fitness, gut running. Like yeah. just get to as many contests as possible and then you're a chance to influence the game. Especially for a young person. Like, yeah. think, like oh, let's just get X amount of touches. Like that makes you the best player. Yeah. That's not always the case. No, nah, not at all. It like, might be pressure or tackling. Like coaches really love that stuff. So what I try to do, like I'm not a ball magnet, but when I was trying to get better at footy, I was... Um, Try to add something to my game that no one else really did. Yeah. So that was like pressure and tackling. Like that's the thing that I was like trying to base my whole game off. Yeah. So I wasn't like well, I was racking up in under 18s and shit, but I wasn't like actually trying to add something it. else as yeah. well. Yeah. I was just trying to be something different from everyone else. I think as well, um, for me, what is sort of like my one wood is being clean. Like you are just, clean, bro. It just makes the game so much easier for you and your teammates. So. Well, you think about how many possessions you leave out there if you're not clean. Yeah, if you fumble. Like, you're like 5'10 a game, easy. Yeah. So that's what, that's something that I'm like, with my age, I've got to start working on more because my back and getting low. <laughs> you're Gary Jack. Yeah, my, my Kieran Jack is just not, <laughs> I'll just come up too quick. Yeah, so work on your 
ground balls and your touch. So yep. if you can get that right, it can help your game so much. If you could play with any other current player, who would it be and why? Any, any other current player? Yeah, any other current player. See, mine would be Sonny just because I like him. Yeah. I'd love to play with him. Sonny Walters. I love... I love Rory Laird as a bloke. Bro, he is racking the nut at the moment. He's, yeah, he's he's a gun. He had like forty well. something the other day, like easy has, forty. He has forty every week. Um, what is he from SA? Yeah. From yeah. near you or no? You spent years from high school and shit. Knew him, yeah, like state eighteens and stuff. And got Rory along Laird. really well with Letty. Still good mates with him. Well, Letty, if it's not working at the Crows end of this year, you know where to hit <laughs> us up on the phone. List um, management. Have you ever tried to recruit anyone? Have I ever? Yeah, or recently. Uh, no comment. Okay, that's the yes. <laughs> we'll find out by the end of this, I'll, I'll show you. Um, this is from Ollie Hallen. Kiss, kill, marry our three big forwards. Eric. Eric, hippie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Eric McStay and Joey. So you got to kill one, kiss one and marry one. Um, and kill's not a bad thing, you just can't have all three. Yeah, you know so what I mean? I'll kiss... I'll kiss Macca. <laughs> what could it be his baby blue eyes? I'll marry Joe. Yeah. Yeah, I'll kill, I'm, I'm exactly the same. And kill Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Eric would be fun to kill. Eric, Eric, Eric with his long hair, I'd, I'd probably kiss him <laughs> after about 20 beers. He's got short hair now, though. Yeah, I know. So. I was saying with his long hair, though, I'd probably go. That's left handed. I could marry Hippie, though, as well, I reckon. Nah, he's too much baggage. You know, you know what I mean? Like, he's just something always going on with him. <laughs> Last yeah. one from Avilbra. What AFL player did Lockie look up to as a youngster? Uh, Gavin Wanganeen. Oh, at Essendon or Port? Uh, Port. I was a Port fan growing up. Oh, so, you were? Yeah, I loved, loved have, Gavin Wanganeen. He was my favourite player. He was silky with it, wasn't he? So silky, which I am not, but... Uh, no, I don't think you should say that. Oh, Lockie. Um, have Port and Adelaide come knocking since you're an SA boy? Uh, not really. That's usually a big factor in players, like, everyone like, oh, he's going back to Freo, yada, yada. No, everyone's sleeping on, like, the SA teams. Yeah, sleeping on them. Sleeping on them. Um, nah, well, would maybe the, maybe, I wouldn't go to Port, though. Yeah, because of Gav Wanganeen. <laughs> Too much respect for Gav. <laughs> Too much respect for the jersey. <laughs> um, all right, that's it, man. I reckon we should have a quick game of horse, because Let's I've got a couple it. prizes up there, so I'm just going to give them to myself if, if I win, which I don't think I will. What are they? I can't tell you. Oh, prizes? Yeah, the couple prizes. I thought you said pods. I was like, oh, I love Snickers pods. Oh, I thought you were about to say AirPods. Oh. Oh, James Pods Adley? Yeah. Nah, he's not. He's, he's not, not here. Nah, he's not. All right, you go first. Nah, it's your guest. All right. Because I'm the backcourt hero. Are we like, just, just shots? No, are we doing layups and some weird shit or no? Nah? Yeah, whatever you want. I oh, so you've got her. You just gotta get it in though. Yeah, well, that's easy to have done. The jumper too tight. Oh, well done. Shout out to Rob Vlogs for the jumper too. appreciate that. Thanks, Vlogs. Yeah, thanks, Vlogs. Do I have to bounce off the wall? Nah. <laughs> can if you want. Oh, the boys are hot. I've got, I've got home court advantage too. Well, that's, that's usually my shot out there, the one that you Is fucking... That? Yeah, don't with. do that shot. Nah. It doesn't end well. Just not block shot off the bank. Oh, so someone's up the wall? Yeah. And he's gone. Oh. You, know how, you know where you aim? The corner. Yeah, I learned that from Steph Curry. He was so nice as well, like gave us... Plenty of time. And he doesn't have to, but do nah. you guys pay him or what? Nah. H. Fuck, that's all right. Yeah, I saw that. I saw the footage and I was actually, I didn't know you then, but I was like, I'm so jealous of that. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Oh my God, bro. Don't gonna... go over. Yeah, good, 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 good. A little floater. Deli floater. I'm oh. a big deli fan. Thanks, Sharp. Fade away. One-hander. Oh, and you can't hit the camera. No, oh, <laughs> I was camera looking at it. We'll go to we'll go to Ho. All right, H O R. Yeah. No. Yeah. You'd get plenty of these in your day, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you drive, because you, you drive into the paint every time. Oh. So we could be here for All a right. while. Yeah, that's nice. Why do you have your leg up too? That's pretty this cute. Is dirt. Yeah. Nabisky. Oh, there we H. go. All right, you're on H. I'm on H. <laughs> you never know, the easy shots are the harder shots. <laughs> no! Making some shots. <laughs> it would be like. This one just, has got no grip either. I know. Oh. Oh, that's actually. 
Oh, oh that didn't look like it was going in. That's not going to help. No way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> hey Joe, this could be the decider right here, and I don't care if I lose. And real high. Yeah. Oh, so like, what's it called? Oh no. No. Rain. Raindrop. <laughs> Teardrop. <laughs> Fucking only bitches. A thut thut thut. Oh. All right, all right. Let me get the prizes. He's not even sponsored. I'm not sponsored by these people, so. So hide it. Jeez, this monster tastes good. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry guys, I'm still recording. All right, mate, you won. Thank you so much. You got these trade undies, and you can probably give these to a relative because this is probably not going to work for you. Bulls hats. Ooh. But you must know someone, surely. On oh, Raiders. Raiders. You can wear that one. Yeah, no, good. Thanks, man. Thanks, Lockie. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Get back in your Range Rover. Yeah. Oh, how nice is that? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Shout out the Range Rover. <laughs> All right, Dunskies.